on YouTube, you naughty gamer here, and welcome everyone to another adventure here on the channel. Welcome everyone to the Pokemon fan made game of Uranium version Nuzlocke. How are you guys all doing? Hope you're having a great day. You know, I recently uploaded a video thanking you guys for you know all the success on the channel, how much fun I've been having making all these Pokemon Nuzlocks. So I decided to give you guys a secondary series alongside the main series and let you guys let me know what kind of games you would like to see. And I made I mainly saw Uranium version, uh, Insurgent, and Dark Horizon, and I decided to go with Uranium first because I remember seeing this game. I always wanted to play it and never really played it, never got around to playing it. So I know little to nothing about this game, I just know it's a fan-made game, fan-made Pokemon, and it's going to be a ton of fun, and it is going to be a Nuzlocke with United bonus rounds. So if you guys are super excited for this series, make sure to show that United family love by smacking that like button. Comment question of the day, this is definitely going to be a choose my starter video i want you guys to get involved although it may be a hack i still think it's going to be a ton of fun and i believe in this is going to be a great adventure because i haven't really done hacks on my channel i haven't even played a lot of hacks myself uh i did pokemon resolute back when like nobody was on the channel so i'm sure none of you were here around for that so this is going to be different for everyone um I, this is going to be a nuzlocke i'm going to go with regular mode for one reason uh for the united bonus rounds you guys know in the united bonus rounds that we have certain plays where we can like um you know get an extra life and stuff and if you do the actual nuzlocke mode in this game once they die they're dead you can never revive them at least that's as far as i know so i'm not going to do that just because of the amount of bonus rounds that will have challenges and stuff like that i really don't know if this is a hard hack i don't think it really is supposed to but we'll see huh. who is it oh hello there welcome to the world of pokemon oh okay my name is bampo um, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me Profe Pokemon Professor, okay. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great! Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? No, I think I'm pretty good, actually, man. What do you got here? What kind of Pokemon? Oh, what is that? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than the animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others use them as work for slaves, you know, all that fun stuff in Pokemon. Alright, well, but there's much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do they exist? Are these new types we haven't discovered yet? And I think this, this whole game is based off, like, radioactivity and stuff, especially because the radioactivity Pokeball, that's the emblem of the game. So that's what I imagine. So we're gonna have to fill this form, I guess, and that's gonna be like, Oh, we can actually choose what we kind of look like. I guess that. No one's got blonde hair, so I guess we're gonna go with this. Yes, that's- that's- no, oh, my bad. I'm saying I'm hitting no, that's why. Yes! Okay, tell my name. Well, my name is Dylan, if you didn't know. You can call me Dylan or United Gamer, whatever you choose. I guess I can just type this. Wow, that's convenient. That's really easy. I wish every game was like that. Are you ready? Your journey, your, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You together with your Pokemon are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Also, a little fun fact, I might... Oh wait, 10 years ago, Dylan's family lived in Bell Beach City. The Lotus A in Tandor. Oh, welcome to Tandor. Like I said, I know little to nothing about this game. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. I'll tell you the fun fact after this. I, I won't forget that thought. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. I was right. It is about nuclear activity, you know, radioactivity, all that fun stuff. Although they both worked at demanding jobs, they always found time to spend home with their young Dylan. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was, I hope that's how you say her name, was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... Also, this is not going to be a randomizer, um, as I've never played the game, so I kind of want to play it how it was meant to be played. And I don't even know if you can randomize it, so. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As a part of the routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnosis? Oh yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does a web job, Lucille. Oh, that's Lucille. Okay, that's our mother. If everybody's finishing their work, we'll hit break for lunch. Uh, boss, you, you might want to come look at this. Strange. The temperature ratings are far higher than they normal. Than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Well, it can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So, we're gonna die. That's what it seems like. Don't tell me we lose our parents right here. That's going to be messed up. 
The must breach in the reactivity or the reactor at this temperature in just a few minutes. We'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. All right, so we're starting off strong. I don't even know when we're gonna get our Pokemon. Oh, it's gonna be a fun adventure though. You know, I'm so used to doing my regular adventures, you know, with all the main, you know, timeline games. You know, and although the randomizer effect is a ton of fun, I love it so much, but I still know the basic story of the game, where to go, all that fun stuff, you know. That's what I liked about doing Pokemon Black in Unova region. I didn't know a lot about this game, and this one, I know absolutely nothing. So, with Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except... What? We lost our mother on the first... What? So our mother's dead? Or if she's not found, maybe we'll find her later on. Broken Reactor made the surrounding area inhabitable for many years. Foiling any attempt to try and search for her. So, th so we're actually going to just have a dad. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he promoted the chief of Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So we're, com we're completely abandoned by both. So we wait to live with our auntie. Okay, so yeah, you know, I just went and saw Spider-Man Homecoming, like, right before this. So I got, uh, all that, you know, Aunt, what's her, Aunt May and everything, so. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied, Dylan and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for use of a certain age to receive Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Dylan's journey began. Dylan, come downstairs. You were late. All right, so we're with our auntie right now. Let's see how this game plays out. All right, do we have anything in here? Maybe an item for us? We do have a potion. Okay, seems seems good enough. All right, let's go downstairs and see what's up here. Can we run down here? Come here. Oh, our auntie is old. Dylan, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? Oh, I guess I can't help but feel glum. Seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if there was these old bones, could do more than just that. I support us both. But, you know, I'm pretty useless at this age. You and that boy, Theo, always following your footsteps. That one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He's, uh, he's younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead. Open it. Oh, thank you. So now we can run. Okay. All right. So I hope I got everything set up on this game right. Uh, father here. So, like, we're completely abandoned by both of our parents in this. Our our dad and our mom is like, just left us. Okay. Good luck, sweetie. Alright, there we go. Now we can run and look all nice. Moki Town. See, the, the, the controls are completely wacky right now. I might need to, like, mess with them and stuff. But the game looks so good. Let's see. We don't need to go in here. I might need to just actually use the <laughs> keyboard right now. I don't want to really click it, but the, the, the controller seems kind of wonky right now, so I might want to work on that for part one. This looks so nice, though. Hey, wait up! Is that is that the guy following me? Follows in my footsteps? Is that going to be my rival? Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't going to happen. Well, it's left up to the United Family anyway, so you better just get skedaddle. We don't need you, Theo, or you're gonna be Brooks for this series. That, is this the lab, I'm supposed? We can go see the Pokemon Professor Bambo. I'm just gonna call him Bambi. Seems fitting. Oh, hey, if it isn't Dylan and your friend, huh? Tommy, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right then, Theo, you're just in sign. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your time for your first day at work as the field research assistant at Bambo's Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will be traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that you will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both take, uh, take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. What?! What is this? I didn't even know a test. This, is, this isn't even right. It's not like any other region. So, like, what kind of test do we have to take right now? <laughs> okay. Do I, so I gotta take a test to get my Pokemon? Is there even meant to do a Choose My Starter video? Technically, I can let you guys choose, though, still. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll take it. Why, uh, why not? What kind of Pokemon in the wild? What is your first reaction? Wait and see what it does. Throw a Pokeball at it. Attack it right away. Well... Okay, so that looks like fire, grass, and water, honestly, with just the text. So let's see if that's how it goes. Wait and see what it does. We'll do that one. Very good, both of you. Okay, next one. Which one of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Protect, Hyper Beam, or Hidden Power? Protect. It's a Nuzlocke. 
You don't know what a TM is? Why are you getting a Pokemon? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Gliscor or Ampharos? Oh, Amph... I don't know. I'm gonna go with Ampharos, because I love Gyarados, but... Ampharos would just destroy Gyarados with one hit. What is the motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best, exploring the region, making new friends. I'm become... No, I meant to do the top one. See, the controller's all wonky. It makes me go down without me touching anything. Oh, well, we'll fix that for the next episode. I don't know why it's doing that. That's annoying. So, is this gonna give me one? I think it's just gonna give me one. Which, to be honest, I can still let you guys choose. Patience and endurance is at your best assets. Alright, so yeah, I think he is just gonna give me one. He gives me the grass daughter. But I don't think you have to have him. If it does, I can just read you the test and pick whatever you choose. But I just kinda wanna see what they all are. Oh, wait, no. Maybe he's making me have that. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that is it. All right, so you have to take a test. So I need to show you guys the starters. <laughs> I want to show you all the starters. <laughs> I won't nickname him right now. I'm just going to name him Test because we're taking the test. So that's the grass starter. I think the grass goes to grass and steel. Fire goes fire and ground. Water goes water and electric. That's all you really need to know. If, if I remember correctly, like seeing the starters, I knew the starters because I wanted to do choose my starter video. Um, but grass goes to grass and steel. Fire goes to fire and ground. Water goes to water and electric. I'm almost certain on that. I'll correct it in the description below if I'm wrong. I didn't know there's going to be a test. Like I said, I knew nothing about this game. So, I, sorry. Um, but that's the, yeah, he's water and electric. You can even just tell and look at him. The other one's fire and ground. And there's also mega evolutions in this game too. And they'll, all, they'll mega evolve at one point. But I think they keep the same typing. But there you go. That's the three Pokemon. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, even though we already have a Pokemon. I don't want to battle you right now, buddy. This is not my guaranteed starter. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode or part zero of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are excited for this series. I really am. It's something different on my channel. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be difficult with all those United bonus rounds coming in. If you don't know what those are, I'll explain those in the first episode as we start our, you know, actually start our adventure and everything. Basically, you guys answer a bonus round, you get it correct, you send me either a challenge or a bonus in upcoming episodes. That's ready. That's pretty much it. But remember, the grass and steel, I hope it's grass and steel. I'm almost certain grass and steel starter, fire and ground starter, or the water and electric starter. I'll try my best to put in the description below what their names are so you guys can know uh, or put them on the screen or I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but there you go. I had no idea we we're gonna take a test. We don't really even get to choose, but I'll fix that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the United Family today. You guys can find me in all kinds of social media links like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, all that can be found in the description below. As always, everybody, this is not just a channel. Hit it's a family, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out!